Hello everybody, welcome back to Domination Gaming Channel. I hope you guys are ready for a treat, because I found a game that is all about Greek gods and mythology, and the game is brand new. It looks pretty amazing, really beautiful, really, really big on mythology. So if you enjoy my Percy Jackson readings, I think you're going to get a kick out of this game. So if you guys have not subscribed yet, please take a second to click that subscribe button, because I really need your help. Please, 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 please subscribe. And go ahead and leave a comment because I reply to everybody. I make you guys know that you're important to me. So once again, thank you for choosing to watch my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this game through, playthrough. This is going to be Argonius and the Gods of Stone. And I'm just going to jump right in. I'm excited. This game looks so good. And I love mythology. So this is like perfect. 1279, I was a creep. Something happened. <laughs> Here we go. My name is Calliope, daughter of the sky god Zeus, and muse of much renown. Sit here at my perfumed feet as my poem unfolds before you, an epic that springs from the depths of the sea and finds its end upon strange shores. This looks good already. For this is your story, the story of Argonus. Son of Argus the shipbuilder and friend to Jason the hero. Yay! Hey, Krico, welcome! Our tale begins like many a sailor's story before it, with tragedy and a lilting song that carries from one dark wave to the next. They're setting the mood, I like it. I hear fighting in the background. It's 1232 BC, so we are right in Greek mythology. Perfect. We call up into the channel, my friend. Hope you're enjoying the picture. Off the shore of an uncharted isle. I'm ready for this. I'm excited. You can't hear it in my voice. I am really excited. Okay, we're underwater. Um, okay. Can we call up the ship? Or we... Awaken. Okay, yes, goddess. Ah! Right, right! Chariots in my eyes. Oh, look at that. I tried coming out of the water with a hand that's exciting. Oh, wait. What happened to them? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Holy cow. He's huge. Is that a Titan? Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy cow. Hey, I got it back. I'm assuming that hand is my hand. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, it's the owl. Remember from Jason and the Argonauts? The Blight. And there's some kind of pig thing walking over there. Is that a pig sheep? This dude looks like he's a stone. Did he, like, uh, get too close to uh, Medusa? What's going on here? Okay, examine, take, interact, or use options. At satchel, we can run and walk. Okay. A frozen scream is etched upon the face of bewitched Typhus. Look at his eyes! The of the Argo. Never again shall he foretell the rising of black waves. So he's dead. He's, they said he's gone for it. Well, I'll talk to Owl in a second. I'll see what's going on behind me first. Acastus, the son of King Peleus and a lifelong consort, reaches in vain his sun-baked flesh, now that of ashen stone. Holy cows, what happened to these guys? This statue, if it could be called thus, is that of Hylus, a man whose hands brought ore to water not but a day ago. I guess so he's an oarsman. I can't go in the water. I want to examine the ship. See when it turns yellow, I can examine it. Tis the faithful Argo. <gasps> the Argo! Her weathered hull rent, a stalwart crew scattered, dead, or lost to the endless sea. A faint melody can be heard as the sea wind blows past her figurehead. That's the Argo. Remember in the books, Leo built the Argo too? And everybody right now, they're flying in the Argo too? That's awesome. Okay. 
This owl seems unaware of its preternatural perch and unconcerned with the plight of a shipwrecked sailor. Yeah, he's like, I don't care, I'm just an owl. Okay, I can't take it. It's still in my satchel. That's this one, right? It looks like there's nothing in my satchel. Let's go. Left shift is run. H is up. We can drag if we have an option. Okay. Let's see what M does really fast. Oh, I pull out a map. <laughs> okay. There's really okay, so I can see the beach, that's it. So I guess I can go to all these places. Go to the ground. We're gonna see what the sheep pig is. Oh, there's stuff all over the place. More than a piece of driftwood, this plank was once surely bound to a mighty ship. Okay. This aisle is littered with such debris. Broken reminders of man's folly. So this game looks like it's going to be real peaceful, except for the fighting, if there's fighting. An exploration kind of game, puzzle kind of game. It looks like it's going to be just a beautiful game. Check it out. Tis but a single plank, no doubt from a sunken ship. And what I'm doing is I'm looking around looking for anything yellow. Whoa, what's going on over here? I got, it looks like I can go two different ways. I'm going to go to this waterfall first. And check out this little sheep pig. Hello, sheep pig! It is a sheep pig! Or maybe it's more of a sheep. This wild sheep appears interested in nothing more than the grasses that grow upon this beach. Well, screw you then. I'm going to go check out the waterfall. The waterfall looks cool. I'm worried about missing because there's so much stuff to check with on. Oh my gosh, there's storms here. Look at this. What's going on? They're kids. No craftsman could sculpt a child so lifelike, nor create that which now stands lifeless. The death that haunts this isle did not spare even a child from its sorcerous wrath. Oh my gosh, I don't want to turn into stone. What's going on here? Abundant with boughs of leaves, this mosaic appears to be made of limestone and thus surprisingly light. Oh, I can take it. Give me it. I want that mosaic. Might need it for something. Light glints off this strange carved stone, half buried in the sand. Her planks broken and her floorboards shattered. This skiff offers naught but harbor to small fish. I like that I can walk while it's talking. Yeah, I figure I should pick some of the stuff up if I'm able to. I'm gonna look around, because if I pass up stuff, I might miss stuff. That's not good. So anytime I can see that I'm gonna pick something up, I'm just going to. Is I able to pick up the stuff over here? Do you guys remember? Nope. Right. I'll go check out this giant statue over here too. Who is that? Bikini clad goddess of the world standing on someone's head. This statue is of Amphitrite, queen of the sea. Sadly, the goddess did little to hinder the decimation that litters these rocky shallows. The water that flows from these rocks would keep even the most stalwart from discerning what lies beyond. This splintered plank is no doubt a victim of the sharp rocks that encircle this isle. I'm gonna take everything I can. I'm gonna load up. We load up, you party. That's how you do it in ancient Greece. The chalky fleece of this you is wanting for a shearer's work. Well, I'm not a shearer, okay? I think my character is actually a photographer. It should make sense why I can hit them and make map, because I'm a map maker. Okay, so the arrow is showing me which way to go. That's cool. So I don't get lost in this open world beautifulness of the game. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. I'm like expecting something to jump out at me. Oh, Pegasus! An impossible horse with snow white wings grazes upon a hillock. No, come unaware, back! Come back! Whether spooked or merely provoked, the stallion launches itself from the cliffside no, before so mighty, mighty wings carry it far above the awestruck sailor below. Where'd you go? I want to talk to you. Let's have a conversation. 
capturing my dress. There you are. Get back here. I need a mount. You shall be my mount. I will be like Perseus. I shall mount you. What's this? The bell-shaped flowers of this mandragora are common throughout the Isles of Greece. Yeah, I'll take some of that, thank you very much. You really gotta keep your eyes open, because I never really tell them if you had to close. That's not like lit up that I can tell far away that I can melt to it. Like this here. So what are you guys thinking of it so far? So far, I like it. This is beautiful, it's a good story so far. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> This rotten timber is too small to be a yard for the mast. Cracked and splintered, this wooden plank will serve a vessel no more. This statue would appear newly struck, as the salt of the sea has yet to assail its stone. This hound was not spared the fate that befell the other inhabitants of this isle. Poor Doggo! Doggo's a statue! This way. I want that Pegasus! Come back, Pegasus! Everyone should want a Pegasus. Everyone should have a Pegasus. It's a pet. That's a good statue. That's what I do with the spear. I'm like, what is this? Spear me, dude. This is the ice red? Where's eyes red? Tis Palamonius, son of Olenane Lernus, whose bodily frame and valor no man could match. Really? They want me to go that way. I want to go this way. Was there two ways? Is that? That's a head. Look. This over here. Look. Oh, yeah, look. It's a head. How cool is that, man? Look at that. The head of a once giant stone statue lies half hidden in tall grass and underbrush. I didn't even know it was there until I looked at my map. That was awesome. Here's kind of bell ringing. It makes the sheep, right? Woman and her baby. I think Medusa just went rampant. Pegasus. I see you in the light, Pegasus. I see your shadow, Pegasus. Come down and have a conversation with me. There you go. Another mosaic piece. This child was not struck down by mortal ills, but surely by something that is beyond this world. It's like I got too many directions to go, I don't know which way to go. This young woman, most likely a temple worshipper, seems to have been frozen in time. Okay. Oh, that's the waterfall. I can't go up there. It's a dead end. I guess now I only have one way to go up. That's all. What is this? This grotesque statue is that of Honorable Castor, skilled to guide swift-footed steeds. What is this? Next? Finding a trinket such as this upon these shores, let alone within the boughs of this tree, must surely be a portent. You gotta pay attention, there's so much going on. I don't wanna miss nothing, it's great. I'm trying to take it, can I have that please? I can't take it. I only take it. That shadow from Pegasus keeps me freaking me out. Looks like something's gonna happen, but it's not. I'm trying to get his spear out of his hands because I want to be able to reach that necklace. I thought maybe I could take that spear, but it won't let me. I mean, the necklace has a hand on it, so I can take it. I just gotta figure out how to take it. I'm sure it's important, or else it wouldn't be there. Maybe one of those pieces of wood I had? This isle is littered with such debris. 
broken reminders of man's folly. It's got the side and symbol on it. I want it. How do I get it? See, won't let me take it. I'm looking at it. Finding a trinket such as this upon these shores, <laughs> let alone within the boughs of this tree, Maybe I gotta must keep my surely be a portent. Like I really want to take a spear because a spear would be able to reach, right? What did that say last time? It says use objects, just track it. So you go like this. Alright, so obviously it's nothing. Just keep going then. We're going to look for a branch so that we can reach that necklace with. I'm afraid I'm missing so much because there's so much to see. Small ticks, like droplets of water, emanate from within this stone pedestal. While it appears to be chiseled from the same rock, this stone is set apart from the great statue that cradles it. Yeah, see, I can put stuff in here, it looks like. I don't look like I have anything that fits though. So we gotta find a way to get inside that cave, and we gotta find a way to get that statue. Now we got missions. An unseen hand forces Organus from his feet and into a dense thicket skirting the stone path. Hey, a soothing voice murmurs in his ear as the sailor witnesses the passage of things only spoken of in tones. It is Medusa! It's multiple Medusas! In whispers. Be quiet for but a moment. The Something voice saved me. Once the otherworldly creatures fade from sight, Argonus pulls himself from the dust and gazes skyward. Something just saved me. Before him, held aloft, Ooh, hey, is a hey, handsome hey. woman, replete with glory and power. And no How many times must fair Athena save one man? Thank you, the immortal Athena. asks, her head tilted with uncommon grace, her eyes soft. Before words can form on Argonus's lips, she continues. It is not a query to be answered so readily, sailor of the Argo. Shadows gather, she says. There is a blight upon this isle. Have you not seen its handiwork? The flesh of your companions no longer flesh. Yeah, I know. Their bones, that of the earth. The woman's eyes drop. I fear my own hand may have set these dire events into motion. Okay, what'd you do? For this, I will make amends. Okay. But no, well, many of your brethren yet live, for like I doctors. have seen them with my own eyes. Find them, Argonus of Crete, and as I did for your father before you, I shall provide a boat and passage Ooh. from this isle. You have the word of fair Oh, Athena. that's Athena! That's also Hi, Athena, thank you for saving me. Later, I like your daughter, she's awesome. Gone. And breath gladly returns to the Annabeth sailor's lungs. <laughs> Annabeth is awesome. Achievement unlocked, petitioner. All right, so Athena just saved my life from two Medusa. Tis Phalerus of the Ashen Spear. His father, Great Alcon, shall never again welcome home his prodigal son. Aww. The statue is certainly that of the hero, Oileus. Peerless in courage and strong in spirit. Alright. So should I go and see where the Medusa were going to? I want to find a way to get that necklace still. I'm scared more Medusa are going to come. There was two of them. I've never heard of two Gorgons. Well, yeah, I guess Gorgons. That would make sense, I guess. I've heard of two Gorgons before. 
They turn everybody on this island to stone. That's crazy. I'd be stoned if it wasn't for Athena. One can become extremely ill, consuming the berries from this black Ooh, nightshade. What is this? Whoa! No doubt struck by the hand of an Argonaut, the head of the Hydra lies lifeless. Its flesh still warm to the touch. Dude, it's a Hydra head, and in the background is a stone Hydra. So the Argonauts fought... I'm one of the Argonauts, I guess. And they, they fought a Hydra, cut off the head, and the Medusa stoned everybody. So they're like, I don't care who wins, you're all stoned. I can't do nothing. So I guess I'm going to be able to do something to it later, because the little hand was on it. This game is great so far. Paul Canthus, son of Abbas. Never was there a sailor more eager to quest or raise weapons against a common foe. It is said that he was granted an enchanted weapon from Ares himself. Oh, may I have your enchanted weapon, please? You, you don't need it no more. I mean, no offense. You're probably an amazing Argonaut, but you don't need it anymore. I'm alive. I'm not stoned. Give it to me. <laughs> This is kind of sad, though. It looks like all the Argonauts are turned to stone. Hail, strong Erebotes. Erebotes! The son of Iris. Skilled in the seer's art of seeing between the mortal coil and the dark veil beyond. Calais was a welcome comrade and could fashion ships to make trial of the seas with heavy oars. Wow, this is great mythology. Tenorus has lost a great son in Euphemus. He was the most swift-footed of men and was wont to skim the swell of endless seas. Let's go down there, but let's check out up here first. Let's go in and check out this hydra. Tenorus has lost a great son in Euphemus. Tis the visage of strong Asterius, son of Hipparasius who stood two score of men against the Gaginais on the land of the Dolionis. If not for its stone plight, this Methosian Hydra is like the one said to have been brought low by Heracles during his twelve labors. Uh, we call him Hercules, okay? Not Heracles. There's a spear. This wayfarer's spear is both a formidable weapon and a sailor's crutch. I can take it. I think I can reach the uh, necklace with this, right? I have a weapon now, so I can fight, too. Oh, can I not fight? While the tip of this spear may no longer be fit for battle, oh, I guess not. it may still serve another purpose, albeit one more pedestrian. Okay. So they're basically telling me to go get the uh, necklace with the spear. So you can't fight with it, but it can be used for something. So it looks like I can go down here. Let's go around here and see what's around here. What is this? It's kind of big doorway I didn't see the first time. Or no, I haven't been over here yet. Let's go that way. I haven't found a safe spot either, so I don't know how, when, where, what to save. Oh, I can't go down there. Listen to the noise, are those sirens? Right, so let's go get the necklace because that's the only thing I can do now. I wonder if there's a shield too. I have a shield, too. May I have shield please? Yeah, I have your shield, sir. You guys are all greedy, even statues are greedy. Yeah, at least try it. So now I'm nervous because this is the way the Medusa went, and I don't want to be turned to stone. Athena saved me. I don't know how many times she's going to be saving me. <coughs> Hold on, let's go see. I got no weapons, so I can't fight. I, I suppose I can use the spear, but not the spear tip, so you can bash stuff with it, maybe? Whoa! Oh, I thought they disappeared from there. Gorgons, go away! Hey, I 
got a question. Why did they turn the dog, the kids, and all the people into sheep or, or um, to stone? But they didn't turn the sheep to stone. That's a little weary, huh? Oh, shit. And run, this is run. Using yes! the broken spear, I was right. Argonus plucks the necklace from its roost before laying it about his neck. Oh, I'm just gonna put it on. Sure, why not? It was pretty hanging in the tree that belongs around my neck. It's not dinging anymore. The dinging stops. Now I don't know where to go. Um, I don't have any clues either. So let's check our map really fast. It's telling me to at least go this way. I'd like to find a way down here. Alright. I don't know how to find a clue for anything. Well, no. I think the map is kind of guiding me. Uh. It looks like maybe the map is guiding me. I can't really tell. Small ticks, like droplets of water, emanate. While it appears to be chiseled from the same rock, this stone is set apart from the great statue that cradles it. Yeah, I really don't know what to do yet. We'll figure it out, though. There's got to be something that'll pop out. Let me know what to do. Athena! Athena! Where are you, Athena? Need some guidance. Why would there be a path here that leads to nothing? It's got to be here for a reason. Okay, I'm a little bit stuck. It's a little bit too early for me to be stuck. Let's check out my inventory again. See if there's anything here I can use. One can become extremely ill. Consuming the berry. This necklace is not unlike one that was worn by Peleus, the son of the great sea god himself. Okay, that didn't help me. Come on, I don't want to be stuck. That did not give me any any help. Can I use something like this? No. It's got a hand on it, so I can do something with it. I just don't know what. No, it doesn't look like anything I have affects the hydra right now. So let's go look around. I'm just missing something. for dings, noises, anything that would be any kind of clue on where to go next. Pegasus, are you back? Those salty mists shroud their form. See it? There is no denying the women upon the rocks. Or even from here. The lure of the siren song is strong. Yep. Siren's trying to This statue is of Minos, the king of Crete, and son of Zeus and Europa. A semblance of Pacify. The immortal daughter of the sun god Helios guards the entrance into this mountain. Massive stone doors are cradled by the sheer cliff face. Hear the siren song? It sounds great. Perfect siren impersonation. I 
While man may have birthed this massive sculpture from the Isle's bedrock, deep waters now embrace it as their own. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know I passed up wood. Yeah, maybe I gotta pick up all the wood. I haven't activated something by not picking up all the pieces yet. By the way, sheep, did you collect the wood? I don't know why I'm collecting wood, but I'm doing it. What is this? Light glints off this strange oh, carved stone, half buried in the sand. That's going to be important. I'm sure of that. It was glinting on the stone. Okay. I wonder if last time I was just here and I didn't realize I could pick those up and I was just passing them. At least you guys know you're getting an honest first time review of the game. So I've never seen nothing about this game before, so I'm going to be making these common mistakes. I'm going to talk to you in sheep. Okay, sheep, where do I go? <laughs> Can you please help? <laughs> Maybe I can use a stone on the hydra because those are the only two things left that I can do that. that can do with me. Unless I can use a stone here. But I think anything I can interact with will have the hand on it, right? Yeah, because look, this isn't. That don't even light up. So, yeah. Maybe the Hydra. Let's go to the Hydra again. We'll figure it out, guys. Don't worry. I may not be the best, but I do have fun doing it. So good. I don't care. Anything in here? Alright, so it's something over here. I'm missing something obvious. I'm sure it's obvious. You gotta be like, you should have looked there. You should have done this. I'm like, I'm sorry. supposed to do somebody should tell me don't leave me in the dark like this let's progress the game I know you guys are all smarter than I am While the foundation of this temple is interred, the architrave and frieze of the entablature remains. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely missing something. Just don't know what I'm this owl seems unaware of its preternatural perch and unconcerned with the plight of a shipwrecked sailor. Your owl wants a deadly nightshade.
It's probably the mosaic, since I got some mosaic pieces, I don't know where they go. I'm probably gonna find where they go. Her planks broken and her floorboards shattered. This skiff offers naught but harbor to small fish. Yeah, so the only thing left that I've seen, unless you guys can correct me, was the uh, Hydra. That's it, I haven't seen nothing else I can interact with. Looks like you can pick up all the wood again. Yeah, just wait for a second and hand the course. I got a feeling that's what I have to do. Not everything that can be collected. This rotten timber is too small to be a yard for the mast. Poseidon, give me guidance. Athena, where you at? <laughs> Pretty sure I picked up all the wood now, right? So maybe I'm supposed to pick up all the wood and then go to that little boat over there and put all the pieces of wood in the boat? Let's go back to the other part of the island. There's anything over here I can do. Can I kick a sheep? <laughs> Poor sheep. I'm like, no, dude, you kick us. Nice that the Pegasus will come back. That'll help me get along where I gotta go. was not there before. Maybe it's because I got enough wood. I can do that, right? The hand definitely was not showing up before. Ah, see? Right, the stone it. drops neatly into the groove, and the great eye Maybe it was a glitch. slowly moves, revealing a hidden passageway. Ooh, okay. Let's go see what's inside the passage. I'm gonna go look at the video later because I know that was not a hand on that before. That seems nice. We gotta go through the water for this. What's this? The bell-shaped flowers of this mandragora are common. The lovely purple color of this flower conceals its poisonous nature. Ooh. All these flowers I got so far are poison, I think. You hear that grunting? There's something up here. I'm all nervous now.
an intricate carving of a fish betrays which god inhabits the temple beyond. I would say probably mm, Poseidon. <laughs> probably. Well, that's where the waterfall is. It's where these fish do that water. This woman was no doubt on her way to pay tribute within the temple. Her last moments of horror remain etched upon her face. This carving is assuredly the work of a master craftsman. Let's go to the temple then. We're not stone, we can go where we want. Ancient tome in hand. This priest was caught unawares and is now made of the same stone as the carved god behind him. Oh, she's running. She's like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> Something turned into stone while she's trying to book out. I'm checking everywhere because uh, I don't want to get stuck. Let's go see where running was running. While this woman was surely an attendant of the temple, she shall never again set evening lamps alight. Even the pious have not been spared the bewitchment that has befallen this isle. Can't take it. This vase, portraying Poseidon and a merhorse, may have once held water or oil. At the moment, however, it holds neither. A merhorse? You mean a hippocampus, maybe? Can we use the right mythology terms, please? Since this is a game based on Greek mythology. Who else is there? My third piece. Colorful tiles create an exquisite depiction of the sea god ruling his realm. Side and riding a giant sea dragon or something. Up there. Something up there. The snow white owl is beautiful owl. and strangely comforting as well. Well, I can do something. Look, it's got a hand on it, so when I look at that statue. What is this? This stone is bereft of markings, offering no explanation for the small depression set into its surface. The yellow light it emits is curious. Yeah, how is it making light? It's like some kind of divine thing. Oh, I can do something too. All right, so I got a hand on that stone and a hand on the statue. What's this? Unencumbered by the burdens of man, this mosaic depicts the gods both at war and at rest. Okay. I put the mosaic stuff in there now? No, it's not. The hand doesn't appear. I thought, that, I, thought I was going to put those pieces in there. Check out the god. Painstakingly carved by the pious, relief such as this can be found in any temple from here to Lycia. Unlike the unearthly statuary that inhabit this isle, this towering statue of Poseidon shows the workmanship of a master sculptor's hand. Awesome. So what can I give it? Um, necklace, right? Removing the necklace, Argonus holds it before the statue, praying silently that Poseidon recognizes it and grants audience oh, to a cool. weary wayfarer. The great sea god does not disappear. Yes, look, it's Poseidon! Within seconds, marble shudders, foundations shake, and the heart of Argonus is quickened. The Whoa. Lord of all water speaks. Who would call upon Poseidon, only to be found wanting of tribute or song? Poseidon stretches oh, forth his arm. He wants tribute. Where are my concerts and vessels? Look about you. You may seek them, but they will not be found. They have deserted me, forsaken me, in this darkest of all. No, they're turned to stone. And who has set loose the scourge that you have borne witness? Athena's prophet. The son of Danae and Zeus himself. Oh, I'm a demigod. The sea god pauses for a moment, taking I'm measure of, of the sailor before him. Yes, even so, 
My anger is not fit to be laid upon the shoulders of my bond servants, let alone set upon one whose necklace bears my mark. Yeah. Leave me to my grief and seek me no more. I have opened a way for you. Take it if you wish, or abandon it. It matters little. Okay. The statue of the sea god turns his gaze away from the sailor and speaks no more. Hey, how about a weapon? Uh, achievement unlocked, fine petitioner. Hey, how about a weapon? There's there's gorgons. How about you? I, I, I'll uh, give me a weapon and I will get revenge. I will get revenge for you. I'm killing everybody on the island that worshipped you. Oh, I can do this one too. Deep waters, lavished with mermen and gods, are etched into this mosaic. What goes in here? We're saying there is. Um. Necklace? No. Spear? What goes in there? Let's say. No. Flower? I don't think I have anything that goes in there. Wood? I don't have anything that fits. No, they don't want nothing. Crap, so now I gotta find something that fits in there too and then come back? Okay. The owl is not working anymore. Yeah, there's no hand. The hand of the on. Oh, she scared the non moving statue scared me. <laughs> Alright, so he opened up a way. It looks like he made the water stop coming out of the fish. Oh, that means that I can probably go in a tunnel inside this waterfall, right? Is that what happened? Let's go check it out. This game is great. I am liking this. If you guys are liking it too, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. Let me know what you think. I keep hearing noises. I'm going to be playing this game in an hour long increments too, so if you guys like what you see. I'm talking for now. There's about 10 minutes left in this gameplay. So we are beyond the waterfall now. We're looking for something that interacts with the hydra's head, and something that will interact with that stone behind the uh, statue of the site. Oh, oh, it's gone. 1268, the goddess Hera appears to the Arga. To Argus and tells him to travel to Achilles to. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Harpies! Harpies! Calm down! It's got attacked by harpies. They, they jumped me and then left. Thanks, jerks. What's all that about? Harpies just being harpies? Small boats, such as this, lie broken upon the sands of this isle. Let me check the map in a while, let's see what that looks like. Okay, just take the bar over to develop. Oh, it's a, it's a new uh, area, so that way the map has to develop. Okay, makes sense. This net has been set out so as to dry in the warm ocean wind. Some more people turn to stone. There's a way up there to a windmill, it looks like. There's a broken mast. A lot of wood. I've got a lot of wood. Having survived the wreck of the Argo, Agamedus, a brave comrade, fell to bewitchment and is now not but a perch for birds. Lord Poseidon spared neither the mighty Argo nor her oarsman Danaeus, whose once tanned flesh is now made of the same sharp rocks about him. Poor Danaeus. More wood, there's wood everywhere. 
This isle is littered with such debris, broken reminders of man's folly. What happened to you? You were fighting Here something. Here stands strong Corollus, warder of Acalia and friend to all who put ore to Poseidon's dark waters. Get an eye for adventure. So we got a cave over here and the window to the left. So there might be any indication which way to go. Oh, I missed. There's two ways back that way. Oh, this is probably the way I came. Let's not cross the bridge yet. Let's go over this way first. Oh, there's two ways. Look, one way. Two ways. Let's go this way first. Since it came first. Statues. Nothing to look at or pick up. Hey, how you doing? You look happy. Of men who would share the toils of his brethren, none compare to fair Asterion. Hi, Asterion. Sorry you got turned to stone. You seem like a big guy. Oh, stone cow! Why did the sheep, the cow, get up and not Never the Never again shall this beast of burden pour cart or dray beneath a scorching sun. That poor thing. It's going to be a sheep to survive in this The blight of which Athena spoke has left a trail of sorrow in its wake. Yeah, it did. The simple robe of this man betrays him as an attendant of some god. Which one, however, is unclear. Ooh, I can go get his goods. Hello, Mosaic. Thank you very much. I take some of that ale? Is that is it mead? I would like some mead, please. Laden with empty barrels, this wooden cart sits idle, its heavy wheels resting in well-used ruts. Um, that that's not true. That's not. There are no ruts. There are not well-used ruts. There are not lightly used ruts. There aren't even medium-used ruts. There are no ruts. Holy cow, there's so many places to go. I still got that bridge to go across. This looks like a big area up here. Oh, we're gonna go to one. The, the pigs! The pigs and the sheep are safe, but the cows get it. This wayward pig is concerned only for that which will feed its large belly. The chickens are okay! Why do the cows get it, but not the chickens? Heavy ropes bind the rungs of this simple wooden ladder. The chalky fleece of this ewe is wanting for a shearer's work. Hello? Anybody at home? If you are, don't come outside. There's, there's Medusas running around. Uncovered food such as this is sure to draw flies. <laughs> I don't see anybody, you guys are all hiding, I don't blame you. In contrast to the fine statuary on this aisle, this table is poorly constructed. Well, so I entered the house of the lazy person. Tis naught but a large wooden barrel. Then why do you want me to look at it if it's nothing but a large wooden barrel? With the stove. Although no fire burns within, this clay stove is still warm to the So everything touch. just recently happened. All the Medusa just came, because like, there's still fresh food. Stove is warm. Let's see what's in there. A strong westerly wind beats against this windmill, moving the light wooden blades in an endless cycle. No. Powered by the large blades, a heavy stone moves slowly within a wide grinder. You chickens are lucky. You should be stoned. All of you. I can talk to you. Nothing of interest can be found on this ordinary chicken. This chicken wanders aimlessly upon the sod, as chickens are wont to do. How do you get inside the chicken coop? Can't get in there. <laughs> Check out this building. Hello? Come in your house. Um, it's not much of a house. Oh. It's guarding the doorway. The what? What do you want? My dog got turned to stone. 
My animals didn't. My, my sheep didn't. My chickens didn't. But my dog, my dog stole. What do you want? This creature had nary a chance to escape its petrified fate. Clearly caught unawares, this simply dressed man hinders entrance into or egress from this building. So they're straight out telling me you're not getting in this building. <laughs> That's what that means. It doesn't matter if you want in here, you are not getting in here. There is no jump, there is no way around. You is out of luck. Even in death, you may not enter. None shall pass. Looks like there's another temple up there, I think. Not the pot over. Rude. Well, no Small design. bits of stone have been inlaid into this tablet, forming the image of several teeth. The form of a child, still in mid stride, is no more than a lifeless statue within tall grass. Ooh, there's so much to see. The great Phidias of Athens himself could not craft a sculpture so lifelike, yet lifeless. Oh, that's not Phidias. They're talking about a sculptor named Phidias. This cart is in fine shape and only in need of an ox or horse. What is this? I just picked up something. What is it? Flint and steel are inadequate to start a fire by themselves. A soft tinder is required to produce the flame. Okay, so now I can make fire. The bane of this isle has killed both the young and the elderly without prejudice. Coming in. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your goods. I'm taking everything I can. Uncovered food such as this is sure to draw flies. She sounds like she's laughing at my jokes. Based on the circumstances, it seems unlikely a family will ever gather around this table again. This shelf could easily accommodate additional vases and jars. What was that? Looks like a skin. Is that a cat? Seriously, look at that, guys. Is that a cat? Are they skinning cats in this game? Stop skinning cats. This hide has been set out to dry. No doubt to later be used as clothing or bedding. There are sheep and cows on this island. You don't need to be skinning cats. That's ridiculous. There is little of interest on this hastily crafted shelf. This parchment appears to be a recipe of sorts and provides illustrations of the required ingredients as well. So they want me to use some crafting here. I like that. That's cool. We can craft now. So I got all those plants. This sack likely contains grain or perhaps corn. Tis a pouch made of sheepskin, complete with leather drawstring. Okay. A mortar and a pedestal. Judging by its appearance, the stone pestle has seen its fair share of use. Right. So now do I mix stuff in the bowl? This simple bowl and accompanying ware are no doubt used for mixing ingredients. Okay, so let's check my uh, recipe. Me, I picked up. This parchment is inscribed with three illustrations of native flora. Next to each is a name and a brief description. Datura, purple trumpet flower, black nightshade, white flowers with berries, mandragora, green leaves with red flowers. Near the bottom is a drawing of fire, and within it, a single word. So, I think I know what they want. They want me to put three flowers in here that I have, and then light it on fire. All right, so let's try that. Actually, what we'll probably do is, uh, 
throw the flowers in there and then we'll take a break in, in an hour then we'll come back and see what happens all right so yeah this is pretty awesome so far i am liking this if you guys are too let me know this game seems to be really beautiful good on mythology i i really want to see what happens next so if you guys do too hit that up subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave a comment and i will be back very soon for more gameplay this is uh this is pretty awesome so i'll be back soon thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think